Good afternoon. This is Brett Hayworth for Siouxland Public Media News. People are debating the impact of a historical event as some continue to support and others to deride former President Donald Trump after his conviction on criminal charges. The hierarchy of tri-state Republican elected federal and state office holders are overwhelmingly supporting Trump, while the Woodbury County Democratic Party is saying he should drop out of the 2024 presidential race. Trump became the first former president to be convicted of felony crimes Thursday. A New York jury found him guilty of falsifying business records in a scheme to illegally influence the 2016 election through hush money payments to a porn actor who testified the two had sex. U.S. Senator Joni Ernst of Iowa, U.S. Senator John Thune of South Dakota, and Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds all gave quick, strenuous support to Trump and criticized the prosecutions as politically motivated. Nebraska Congressman Adrian Smith in an X or Twitter post wrote, quote, Today's verdict is based largely on discredited witnesses and prosecutorial indiscretion and demonstrates once again that there are two systems of justice in President Biden's America, unquote. Trump will be sentenced on July 1st, or four days before the Republican National Convention. Additionally, the Kids Ride Free program will return for an 18th year during the summer months of June, July, and August in Sioux City. The program allows students from ages 5 through 18 unlimited rides on the city's transit route system for free from Monday through Saturday if the child or parent shows the driver their Kids Ride Free Pass. People can sign up to get free rides passes at several city locations, including at city libraries. For Siouxland Public Media News, I'm Brett Hayworth.